everyone thank you so much for joining me today we are going to do this cute and beautiful painting it's a winter landscape with our nice and uh, cute fox which is sitting here and watching the snow on top so uh, today I'm going to work on a paper so this is the paper I stick it to the board uh, with paper tape and I'm going to work with a palette paper and with limited palette we need white black we can make a grayish color of landscape and for our uh, fox body uh, we need the nice orange color it's close to the hand I'm going to use a little bit yellow and that's enough we, we are uh, using limited palette so it's better to have one pointy brush beside round and uh, beside the flat brush pointy I mean the round and a uh, small one this pointy for the uh, details like uh, the snowflake or uh, the eyes and nose for our um, uh, actually fox so I'm going to mix my paint with palette knife we need a glass of water we need rag or napkin so let's start our painting first of all I'm going to use grayish color for the background it can be two different gray color uh, one lighter and one darker so for the first one I take more white color and uh, a tiny touch of black I would like to reach a lighter gray and I prefer little by little mix the black because black is so strong and change the value fast So this is the nice grayish color which is lighter, a little more black. So I put this aside and for darker gray this time I take a little bit less white and more black to make darker gray. And depend on the size of the canvas we are going to work on it it's um, we can have more or less uh, gray amount of paint so I have this too and I have pure white color and pure black color let's start applying on canvas so in our landscape the stands it's uh, full of uh, tree trunk and it's like a blending to the uh, further so the brush stroke from top to bottom but from here which is the field of the uh, snow it's full of snow and we are going to do a brush stroke like left and right first of all I'm not see any fox on top so I try to finish the background first everything and then apply uh, for drawing our fox on top of uh, the landscape so let me put this here take brush the flat one depend on the size that you are going to work it's easier to go with larger or smaller I'm doing a little bit um, drawing separate distance from the field and I'm going to the ground I'm going to do the brush stroke like that with the grayish color I make it with darker tone first and I'm not moving further at the same time take this lighter gray from top to bottom because I would like to show the stance is uh, actually the top part is lighter the bottom part is a little bit darker so let them blend together I don't want to have a hard edge in between then back to the darker tone again you don't have to be really perfect in line you can go up and down but try to use lots of heavy paint 
to um, get rid of white of canvas. doesn't matter you start from top to bottom or from bottom to top just we need to help uh, be the surface wet and let these two color light and dark of gray blend together because acrylic dries so fast so it's better section by section we work on it and help it dry uh, help it mix together and blend together nicely Okay, so I'm happy with this and now I would like to wet a little bit here on the edge with darker value and then at the same time take some lighter tone but this time brush stroke can a little bit do here like this even you can use the pure white color because already our brush is wet with the gray so I try to use the tiny brush stroke like a grass part on uh, in a field in a jungle see it's a bunch of um, snow here I would like to show something like that with this small brush stroke and don't worry we are going to cover it with another style of brush stroke when we are on this part So after that, again back to pure white color, we already have grayish color in our brush. Then back and forth with left and right and use another kind of brush stroke when you are close to uh, yourself. And again heavy paint. Lighter tone. I'm going to apply when we are close to the bottom part of canvas we can do really heavy texture lots of paint with leaving paint on top and then you can see after it dry you can see all this heavy texture at the same time with the lighter gray we can bring the white color the pure white color because some part the snow is really clean and the white so we can bring some pure white color or sometimes it's a darker part we can take some grayish color which is darker and bring very gently on top it because it's wet still the background uh, it can mix and blend very nicely into each other and give us a chance to see this beautiful uh, movement so very gently I try to add a little darker tone here a little darker tone there or even a little bit gently darker here and uh, clean the brush wipe it with napkin pure white color I would like to bring before adding um, fox on top I would like to bring the heavy white color as a snow on top 
because acrylic when dry uh, it get darker so when you use even the light gray color it's nice to have one pure white color as well to let the snow be in some case in some parts really fresh and white not always dark and grayish tone and very gently touch the surface don't pressure in your brush very gently let this pure white color set on top of canvas and most of the time white color get more time takes more time to dry so you can wait more to let it dry or use hair dryer help dry faster So we need to wait all this beautiful background get dry and be ready for next part okay now we finish the background it get completely dry we are going to add these three trunks a little narrow on the stems a little bit thicker in front and try to make it fade here and the bottom part and it's again two different gray, uh, gray color light and dark and this time i'm going to add a little drop of water here because i want to let it fade and i don't want to have hard edge in my tree trunk so with a flat brush just diluted with the paint you can start from top bring it down and let it go here a little bit like that or even add a little bit drop of water let it fade when we add a drop of water after it get dry it's go to the background so with the tip of brush we can start adding the line and shape the tree trunk long and short we don't need all of them be in the same level and sometimes a little lighter tone on top we can use make it disappear here hard edge like that and on distance again more i try to add some lighter color i'm not using uh, water in my brush now i just have enough water and try to use the different gray light and dark that's fine to make the narrow and thicker tree trunk When I'm coming in front, I would like to make a little thicker one. So the thicker one, I use hold the belly of brush. Sometimes it's okay to use just the pure black color to make it more uh, heavy and come in front. I'm coming down a little more and here try to use more grayish color even a little drop of water to let it blend like that again just a bit more black in some case but narrow tree trunk You can so many times start from the top to the bottom to make the uh, thickness of tree and a style in a way that feel more happy with. We can make it as busy as we want because it's jungle supposed to be more busy or we can go with some main trees and then in between add a lots of lighter and narrow one if it's confusing at the beginning it's better to go with the main uh, trees and then add some more details more later this light gray 
from here I would like to bring it on top make it disappear more or even fade Now in between I'm going to add a little more narrow, some part it's more brighter because I would like to show that this tense. So narrow tree randomly to show more busy part of the jungle. And apply with more line. Even in some parts we can add some branches, tiny branches. So I think would be enough. That's busy enough to show these are lots of bunch of trees on the stems. And even a little bit darker gray here. And even a little bit here. So, the background and everything is okay. We are ready to move on for next part after it gets dry for the uh, drawing of fox. So, it's okay to leave it like that get completely dry okay now it's time to draw our little cute fox so it's top part of the head and the bottom part it's sitting on top of this um, this part of the uh, snow so the face is toward up and I'm going to start from this part it's like a cylinder hole shape but a little bit details it has on the left and right side so we can draw quickly a little bit close to that shape that our fox has and i'm going to take orange tone orange color if it's going to start to draw a little bit you can add a little drop of water to help it move faster and easier like that i'm going to use pointy brush and first of all uh, very gently i start draw the Mm, I imagine let's sit here so start draw the head just one line like that like a curvy tone come here and then again another curve of the body shows is sitting on top of the snow like that Head is up. This is the part of face, the nose. Even you can add a tone if uh, helpful to see better. And 
then I'm going to add more colors on it like a red uh, sorry like a uh, white color to separate the body and this is the neck it comes here down and this is the part of chest and straight I'm coming down and hands are placed here we can always a little make it shape and larger or smaller smaller is is not easy because we need to bring back the background color but uh, when you want to make it larger always easy to do lots of heavy paint and even we can use lots of texture on top to make it look like the real fur, uh, like a fairy hair of animals I do a little make more brush stroke to look like more look like um, brush stroke of fairy hair and even close to here clean my brush move on with the yellow I don't need to clean it very well just a little yellow and try to add on the edge more yellow and even the place of hands and foot are more brighter because of that I am going to add just the yellow color here even the edge of body on a face and then clean the brush very well move on with the pure white color so this part is pure white color and toward up the nose actually The chest here is pure white it's okay on the edge separate the white uh, with the uh, orange color but we can add more yellow in between later I am going to use uh, lots of heavy paint so it's still wet and give me a nice blending here we can use a uh, lots of texture as a heavy brush stroke on this part of the body to make it look like the real fairy hair in animals so clean it with napkin again back to yellow a little more yellow in between I'm going to add especially on this part of the face that place of eye and then try to add more yellowy part in between to make it beautiful Now I would like to separate the ear. Take uh, orange. This part I try to separate the ear. Like a nice triangle shape. And inside is yellow. Yellow white actually.
yellow white even if we go inside more orange we can again bring it back okay now i'm going to add some uh, black color to shape the nose and uh, like um, something like outlining so i add a drop of water into black diluted the hair brush into black and then the nose is like a long oval shape with this pure black and even the eyes we can see just one side of the eye and a little outlining for well, that's so narrow because of that i'm adding more water very gently around the body Even separate the hands and the feet a little bit and you see I'm not adding hard line I just very gently slowly adding some uh, darkness as outline around the body just a bit even the back of ear so again clean it and if I feel it's not really thick, it's okay to keep it. If it's a little bit thick, the line, you can bring back the orange and cover this thick black line. Especially on the ear, I see it's a really thick, so I add a little orange to cover it. Even here and here. So on the other side on the chest, I would like to add more white color. I don't want to see really dark black color on, on this part so make the line narrow so always you can back and forth to help uh, to have interesting painting and even something like this brush stroke to shape as a, f a fairy hair And the gentle yellowy here, even on the top of the head. So this is our lovely fox that we are going to finish. Now I would like to add snow on top. So for next part we are going to add the snow on top and the snowflake is really lovely to do with round and pointy brush with just a, fl just a pure white color and you can shape it look like the beautiful circle straight to the canvas randomly add the snowflake you can just you don't have to actually control your hand pressure some part it's okay to be so narrow small uh, brush stroke as snowflake or some part really thick and round shape just play with your hand to add as much as snowflake you want and it's lovely because our cute fox is looking at that snowflake so we can add less or more I love snow so I am going to add a little bit more busy with this flakes. And bring it even down. You can have some 
drop and some snowflake on top of our box bodies like this. Even on the ground, we can see. I think spread everywhere and yep I'm okay with it great so we can call our painting down our beautiful painting so hope you enjoy it thank you so much again for joining me see you in next painting take care bye everybody's